three, Dillinger's Lady. Four, Megan L. Down. Five, Lucky Alberta. Outside six is Bays and View Brad, and here they come. Clear off and a pacing cameo when it takes lead on the inside. In between horses of Windermere's glory as they race into the first turn. It's Cameo Winnet up front. Racing in second is Windermere's Glory. Dillinger's Lady gets away in third. Megan Aldown is racing fourth. Lucky Alberta trailing the field is Bays and View Brad as they make their way onto the opening quarter. Chris Davies and Cameo Winnet have set up shop in the front end. They own the front by about four lengths. Racing a second is a Windermere's Glory. They're by the opening quarter in 30 and 2. They race into the top turn with Cameo Winnet. Racing a second is Windermere's of Glory. Dillinger's Lady is racing third. Racing in fourth is Megan L. Down. Then Lucky Alberta and Basin View Brad continues to trail the field as they race off the turn. Come in front of us now for the first time with Cameo Winnet and Windermere's Glory. Dillinger's Lady still racing in third. Up on the outside comes Megan L. Down from fourth. Out on the move three wide is Basin View Brad. Half was paced in 101 and 1. They race into the turn now. Travel over to the 5 8, still with Cameo Winnet. Racing second, Windermere's of Glory. Three wide up on the outside. Bays and View Brad is coming on to third. On the inside is Dillinger's Lady racing fourth. And Lucky Alberta still, she trails the field as they make their way to the three quarter pole. It's Cameo Winnet. Out from second comes a Windermere's of Glory now going for the lead. 133 by the three quarters. They race into the top turn and on the outside now. Windermere's Glory pokes a nose in front. Cameo Winnet a second on the inside. Dillinger's Lady is third. Megan L. Down in between horses fourth. Then Bays and View Brad and Lucky Alberta. Down the stretch they come for home. Cameo Winnet is on the inside. Windermere's Glory on the outside. Neck and neck, nose to nose on the outside. Windermere's Glory. Windermere's Glory wins it. Cameo Winnet second. Dillinger's Lady for third. Time, time of the mile, 204 and 1. Trading back to the winner's circle now, winner of a race number one. It's number two, Windermere's Glory. Baymere 5 by Arcane Hanover out of the drop-off merit and act in glory. Owned by Travis Fowler of St. John, trained by Travis Fowler, Jill Berrios in the sulky this afternoon. Windermere's Glory picks up her first winning trip of 2010. Mile 204 and 1. Number two, Windermere's Glory with Jill Berrio. Pacers line up behind the gate for race number two. We have one, EJ's Quest with Mike Downey. Two, Valid Appeal with Mark Hag. Three, Cookie Larry Goes and Gordy Hennessy. Four, Wild Cherry and Jill Berrio. Five, PH Catman, Steve Trites. And six, No Ordinary Lady with Scott Hubbard. Here they come. They're off and quickly Valid Appeal takes him out of there. EJ's Quest goes with him on the inside as they race around the first turn. EJ's Quest on the inside. Valid Appeal now grabs the top on the outside. Cookie Larry goes, gets away in the third. Wild Cherry's racing fourth. No Ordinary Lady up on the outside to fifth. PH Catman trails the field as they make their way onto the opening corner with Valid Appeal. EJ's Quest is racing a second. Cookie Larry goes is in third. Wild Cherry's racing fourth. No Ordinary Lady in PH a Catman. They race by the opening quarter. 30 and a three with Valda Peel and Mark Hag. Racing in the second is EJ's Quest. 
Cookie Larry Goes is racing in third. Up on the outside, racing in fourth is No Ordinary Lady. Wild Cherry is fifth along the inside. P.H. Catman trails the field as they come down in front of us for the first time. Mark Hag and Val Appeal show the way. Down by the half with E.J.'s Quest a racing in second. Cookie Larry Goes is racing third. Half was paced in 102. They race into the turn now and travel on over to the 5-8 pole. Valid Appeal, still your leader up front. Racing in second is EJ's Quest. Cookie Larry goes still in third. Wild Cherry fourth on the inside. No Ordinary Lady fifth on the outside. PH Catman still trails the field as they race through the three quarters. With Valid Appeal racing out from second comes EJ's Quest to battle for the lead. Wild Cherry comes up the inside to racing third. Cookie Larry goes PH Catman. No Ordinary Lady trails as they go by the three quarters. One thirty-three and a four. Valid Appeal now back to the front. Racing in second, EJ's Quest. Wild Cherry comes up to third. PH Catman, no ordinary lady, and Cookie Larry goes. And down the stretch, they come for home with Valid Appeal. EJ's a Quest up on the outside. Wild Cherry is a racing third. It's Valid Appeal and EJ's Quest. Valid Appeal wins race number two. EJ's Quest for second. Wild Cherry for third. Time for the mile, 2.04. Rating back to the winner's circle now, the winner of a race number two. It's number two, Valid Appeal. Brown Horse 5 by Albert Albert out of the Storm Damage Mare, Violent Storm. Owned by Joe Mott and Gene O'Connor of St. John. Trained by Earl Fram. Mark Eggs in the driver's seat today. Valid Appeal picks up win number one of 2010, pasting this afternoon wire to wire. 204. Number two, Valid Appeal with Mark Hagg. Horses are behind the starting gate for race number three. We have a reduced field of seven with a scratch of number one, Girl in a Hurry. Behind the gate, we have two, Longworth Legacy and Mark Hag. Three, Mary Be Lucky with Mike Downey. Four, Satan's Little Number, Gordy Hennessy. Five, Franco Croupier, Charlie Miles. Six, Burton and Burt, Chris Davies. Seven, George Down, Sam Hodgin. The outside eight, Secret Fantasy, Jill Berrio. Here they come. They're off and a pacing as Satan's little number quickly takes him out of there in the middle of the racetrack. On the inside of him, Longworth, a legacy. Racing away third is Mary B. Lucky. Franco Coupier gets away in the fourth. Bert and Bert is racing fifth and secret fantasy. George down trails the field as they race their way to the opening quarter. Being led up front by Gordy Hennessy and Satan's little number. Longworth, legacy is a racing in the second. Mary B. Lucky gets away in the third. Franco Croupier, then Burton Burt, Secret Fantasy, and George Down trails the field there by the opening quarter in 30 and 1 with Satan's little number. Longworth, the legacy, is racing second. Mary B. Lucky pacing away in the third. Franco Croupier is racing in fourth, back two lengths to Burton Burt. Then Secret Fantasy, George Down, they race in front of us for the first time. Being led up front, the Satan's little number. Racing in the second, Longworth Legacy. Mary B. Lucky's racing third, half was paced in 101. They race into the turn now, Satan's little number steps it up now, opens up by three. Longworth Legacy's a racing in second. Mary B. Lucky is a third, racing fourth, Franco Coupier. Bert and Bert's up on the outside, racing in fifth. Secret Fantasy six and George down, down the backside. They go racing for the three quarters. Satan's little number, Longworth Legacy, here comes Mary be lucky on to third on the outside of him. Bert and Bert now comes to third there by the three quarters. 132 and three with Satan's little number. Mary be lucky's racing a second. Bert and Bert has come to third. On the outside are racing on to fourth is Secret Fantasy. Then Longworth Legacy, Franco Coupier, George Down Trails. They make the turn for home with Satan's little number. Mary B. Lucky's racing second. Bert and Bert is a racing in third. Satan's little number. Mary B. Lucky on the outside. Bert and Bert, far outside. Secret Fantasy. It's all Satan's little number. Race number three. Finishing second, Mary B. Lucky. Bert and Bert will be third. 
Time for the mile, 204 and 1. Heading back to winner's circle now, winner of race number three, horse number four, Satan's Little Number. Bay Mare six by Western Ideal out of the Albatross Mare, Satan's Mistress. Owned by William Flowers of St. John, trained by Brock McEachern. Gordy Hennessy's in the bike for the driving victory this afternoon. Satan's Little Member makes every post a winning one, coast to coast, 204 and one. Number four, Satan's Little Number, G-Man, Gordy Hennessy. Six pacers line up behind the gate for race number four. We have one skill factor, two loose town, three Vic Victor, four BioLink, five Last Dance. The outside six is four stars Jaws, and here they come. They're off and quickly, Vic Victor goes a pacing for the lead. On the inside of him is Loose Town racing in second. Skill Factor races up a third on the inside, up on the outside, Bio Link racing in fourth. Four Stars Jaws up on the outside to fifth. Your trailer is last dance as they make their way past the eighth pole. On way to the opening quarter, Sam Hodgson and Vic Victor have set up shop on the front end. Racing in the second is Loose Town. Skill Factor is racing in third. Bio Link is a fourth. Four Stars Jaws. Last dance is your trailer opening quarter. 30 and three. They race past a quarter into the turn they go with Sam Hodgson and Vic Victor. Loose Town is racing second. Mary Be Lucky racing along in third. Bio Link and I to the outside in fourth. Four stars, Jaws and Last Dance. They come on down the stretch, race in front of us for the first time. We have the Vic Victor. Loose Town is racing in second. Mary Be Lucky. Er Skill Factors racing third up on the outside. Bio Link is in the fourth. They're past the half, 102 and 1. With Vic Victor and a loose town. Racing third in the outside now. Skill Factor following him is Bio Link. Four stars, Jaws, and Last Dance. They make their way down the back stretch. It's Vic Victor up on the outside. Here comes. Skill Factor racing in second. Loose Town racing third on the outside. BioLink is racing fourth. Four stars, Jaws, and Last Dance trails the field. They race by the three quarters. 132 and four with Vic Victor. Racing a second skill factor. Up on the outside, BioLink comes to third. Loose Town is racing in fourth. Four stars, Jaws, and Last Dance. They have an eighth of a mile left to go. It's Vic Victor on the inside. Skill factors up on the outside. BioLink's on the far outside, and on the inside of him is Loose Town. But it's Vic Victor and Skill Factor. Vic Victor wins it. Skill factor second, tight for third. Looks like maybe BioLink. Time for the mile. 2.02 and 3. Rating back to the winner's circle now. You're an official winner of a race number four. It's number three, Vic Victor. Big Gelding 9 by Electric Yankee out of the Niatros Mare Aplom. Owned by Valerie Phelan of Gary, New Brunswick. Trained by Eric Wilson. Sam Hodgen puts him on top at every station. Throws a final quarter in 29 and 4 at them to seal the deal. Number 3, Vic Victor with Sam Hodgen. of eight claimers line up behind the gate. We have one noble senator, two twilight charm, three exposed dream, four dusty lane oscar, five materialism, six bend down, seven is clover hill dot, the outside eight is crowley creek and here they come. They 
here, off and a pacing noble senator takes a lead on the inside. Twilight Charm gets away in the second. Exposed Dream gets away in third with Dusty Lane Oscar racing in fourth. Clover Hills Dodd is racing in fifth. And Materialism bend down Crowley Creek trails as they make their way past the eighth pole on up the back stretch. They race for the opening quarter. Mike Downey and Noble Senator have set up shop on the front. Racing in second is Twilight Charm. Exposed Dream gets away third. Dusty Lane Oscar is racing in fourth. Then Clover Hills Dot Materialism. Bend down and trailing is Crowley Creek. There by the opening quarter in 31 and 2 with Noble Senator. Racing in second is a Twilight Charm. Exposed Dream is a racing third. Dusty Lane Oscar is fourth. Makes a move now to the outside and following him is Clover Hills Dot. Then Materialism bend down and Crowley Creek. They make their way in front of us for the first time. The opening half with Noble Senator. Twilight Charm is racing second. Up on the outside comes Dusty Lane Oscar on to third. Racing fourth is Exposed Dream. Clover Hills Dot. They're by the half. 103 and 2 and around the turn they go. Racing now for the 5 8 with Noble Senator. Twilight Charm is a racing second. Along the rail, third is Exposed Dream, Dusty Lane Oscar, fourth on the outside, and outside of him comes Clover Hills Dot, three wide now, bend down behind him, then Materialism and Crowley Creek, they make their way to the three quarters with Noble Senator, on the outside, racing up, three wide, 134 and four by the three quarters, that's Clover Hills Dot quickly to second. Racing along in third is the Twilight Charm and Dusty Lane Oscar is in fourth. They race towards the seven eights now and on the outside Clover Hill Dot pokes a nose in front. Noble Senator is a racing in second on the outside of him comes Twilight Charm. Down the stretch, there are three of them right across the racetrack on the inside. Noble Senator on the outside. Twilight Charm, but Noble Senator hangs on to win it over Twilight Charm. Looks like Clover Hill Dot for third. Time for the mile. 204 and 4. Heading back to the winner's circle now, your winner of race number five is horse number one, Noble Senator. A horse, 11 years by Noble Land Sam, out of the direct scooter mirror, Valadonna Hanover. Owned by the Downey Racing Stable of St. John, trained and driven by Mike Downey, Noble Senator picks up his first win of 2010. This afternoon, 2044. Number one, Noble Senator, with Mike Downey. Pacers line up behind the gate for race number six. We have one, Wilson's Cam. Two, Jacob. Three, Cares All American. Four, Eloquent Desire. Five, OB Viking. Six, Urgently. The outside seven is admirable, and here they come. Here off and a pacing, a Jacob in Cares All American, a neck and neck getting out of there. Jacob wins the early battle on the inside. Cares All American gets away a second. Eloquent Desire is third around the turn. OB Viking is racing fourth. Then Wilson's Cam, admirable and urgently trails as they make their way on to the opening quarter. Jacob steps it up, leads by three over Cares All American. Eloquent Desire is racing in third. OB Vikings fourth. Then Wilson's Cam, admirable, and your trailer is urgently op opening quarter, 30 seconds flat, and they're neck and neck now on the lead. Jacob is on the inside, cares All-American second on the outside. Racing along in third is Eloquent Desire. Obi Viking is racing fourth. Then Wilson's Cam, admirable and urgently. They make their way in front of us for the first time. It is Jacob cutting the numbers. Racing a second is Cares All American, second on the outside. Eloquent Desire is racing third. They're down a half in a minute and one of fifth. They race around the turn and Jacob's on the inside. 
care of his All-Americans racing second on the outside. Eloquent Desire gets a great trip for racing in third. Racing fourth is Obi Viking, then Wilson's Kim. Admiral Bull and Urgently down the backstretch. They go for the three quarters on the inside is Jacob on the outside. Care of his All American on the outside racing in the third is Eloquent Desire. Three quarters, one, the 30 and one, and Jacob's on the inside. On the outside still Care is All American. Third on the inside is Obi Viking on the outside of them. Eloquent Desire tips out three wide from fourth. Then Wilson's Cam and Admiral Bull urgently trails. They make the turn for home. Jacob is on the inside on the far outside. Eloquent Desire in between horses is Caras All American. But Eloquent Desire comes to the top. Caras All American battles on the inside. Neck and neck at the wire. Tight to call between Caras All American and Eloquent Desire. Time for the mile. Two minutes and four fifths. back to winner circle now winner of race number six it's horse number four eloquent desire big yelling five by real desire at a press the precious bunny mare celestine prophecy owned by cassandra fram of st john trained by earl fram gordy hennessy back in the winner circle for the second time this afternoon eloquent desire comes back a winner two minutes and four fifths for number four eloquent desire and gordy hennessy Cookie Boy, two, Freedom Isn't Free, three, Artistry, four, Terrific Magoozer, six, Woodmere Big Splash, on the outside, seven is Trisha's Beauty, here they come. Off and a pacing, Artistry goes for the lead. On the inside of him is Melody's Cookie Boy. As they race around the turn, Melody's Cookie Boy on the inside. Artistry races up second on the outside. Freedom isn't free, gets away second. Now Artistry settles in to be third. Terrific Magoozer is racing in fourth. Whitmere Big Splash is fifth. And Trish's Beauty trails as they make their way on to the opening quarter. Your leader is a Melody's a Cookie Boy. Racing in second, Freedom isn't free. Artistry gets away third. Terrific Magoozer with Mere Big Splash. Your trailer is Trisha's Beauty. Opening quarter was paced in at 30 and 3. They race into the turn with Mark Hag and Melody's Cookie Boy. Racing in second, Freedom isn't free. Artistry is in third. Whitmere Big Splash makes a move on the outside now and comes to fourth. Terrific Magoozer fifth on the inside and up on the outside. Trish's Beauty follows cover at the end. They come in front of us for the first time with the Melody's Cookie Boy. Racing second up on the outside now is Woodmere Big Splash. Freedom isn't free is third on the rail. Half is paced in 102. Up fourth on the outside is Trish's Beauty. Then Artistry and Terrific Magoozer trails as they make their way to the 5 8 with Melody's Cookie Boy. Freedom isn't free, back to second. On the outside, Woodmere Big Splash is a third. Artistry is fourth along the rail. Trish's Beauty is fifth on the outside. Your trailer as they make their way to the three quarters is Terrific Magoozer. As Melody's Cookie Boy, still there by a half a length. Three quarters and one, 32 and two. Woodmere Big Splash is on the outside, second. Freedom isn't free, is third along the rail. Now tipping out three wide from a fourth comes Trish's Beauty. Then Terrific Magoozer and Artistry. They make their way off the top turn. Down the stretch for home they come. It's Melody's Cookie Boy. Woodmere Big Splash in the middle of the racetrack. Far outside is Trish's Beauty. It's Melody's Cookie Boy. In between horses, Woodmere Big Splash. But Melody's Cookie Boy holds on to win it. Woodmere Big Splash tight for second between him and... Trisha's Beauty, the time for the mile. 2 0 2 and 1.